Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Stirring Abyss. Now, we actually previously looked at a demo of this during the Steam Autumn Festival thing. It was probably only like a week or two ago, to be perfectly honest. But um, the guys over at Slytherin have uh, set me up with a review build, basically. Uh, this game is out on, I believe it's the 30th, and I'm recording this on the 22nd, so we're a bit early, but I've, I've got the green light to go ahead and start playing. That time that we spent with that initial demo had this me very intrigued. I really enjoyed this game. I love the theme. It's naval, you know, it's like diving suits and Cthulhu-esque sort of um, love, love crafty and horror in a way, um, and uh, and all based out of like a sort of XCOM style submarine ant farm base. It's ticking a lot of boxes for me, and I really enjoyed the demo, so I'm really happy to be playing through this game now um, for you guys. So, I guess we'll jump in. Uh, difficulty normal, endless story. Let's play story. I'd be curious how one to one with the demo this is. There might be room for us to speed through it a little bit faster if I'm a bit more familiar. I think I recognize this cutscene. us to an uncharted peak. A great mountain rising from the lightless depths. God, that art looks awesome. Shrouded in mystery. We thought we'd prepared for everything. Hmm, hmm. You thought wrong. Oh, this is so solid. Man, I'm actually well hooked. How little we knew. The abyss hides more than ancient ruins and lost history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our arrival has not gone unnoticed. In deep waters, the smallest ripple can change everything. Yeah, nice. So the publishing house for this game, Slytherin, I have a pretty good uh, history with them, actually. I quite enjoy their games. I'm not a super hardcore, like, milsim strategist kind of person. I just play everything, even though I'm ex-military. I don't really gravitate towards the more hardcore strategy, which is kind of half of Slytherin's catalogue. Um, they, they do some very, very intense stuff with uh, wargaming. But I, I'm a little bit more on the casual side of the fence. So you'll see me play things like Gladius. Um, oh, hang on, we're in. Oh, where am I? Welcome. Welcome to Stirring Abyss. You begin the game with one dot over under control. Yeah, yeah, I, I suspect he's a lieutenant commander. Yeah, 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 I remember this. Um, dives normally start with two action points. Uh oh, hang on. Oh, right. Somehow I just pressed tab and it brought him back. Okay, cool. So they they get a that's his air meter and the little orange knobs are his little action points but you can sort of half deplete them as well I think so if we were to move him to there we've still so that's like phoenix point is the best example I can think of and if we move up to the dotted line that's how you get the most bang for your buck and then beyond that we'll be using up even more so we're going to do that yeah so we we played this we covered this in the demo we're going to zip through this fairly quickly What's this? We've got a question mark. We're too far away. Let's have a look. Lieutenant Commander Wilson swears under his breath, a corpse of all the caves in the ocean, there's a corpse in this one. That can't be a good omen. Though the uniform is old and years have taken their toll, it is clear that the deceased sailor is of an extremely high rank, not a man who would be unceremoniously buried at sea under normal circumstances, mutiny, perhaps, or battle. Well, it's definitely unusual circumstances, right? There are no answers here. All Wilson knows is that he would rather avoid suffering what gruesome fate claimed the man. Lowering his head in respect for a fellow sailor, he moves on. All right. So let's um let's head out over here. Oh, look at this. A US Navy sack. And it's got a spear gun in it, right? So we now have that equipped there in our inventory. And we've also got our diver's knife too. Uh, 
eldritch activity. It's troublesome. Look at him. Look at him. We're gonna bloody spear him. Oh, get out of here. Just get one tapped, mate. All right, inspect corpse. Let's do that. That's a good idea. Broken jellyfish lies deflated at his feet. Tiny electric discharges still are visible within the pale membrane. Wilson is no expert on these creatures, but he knows they don't use electric. Mm, I, I wonder if they changed that. I, I, I wasn't being a, uh, I wasn't trying to be a sook about when I was playing through this previously, but it felt like they just kept pushing his rank into every part of the sentence. And it's sort of um, a bit of a syntax snafu. Referring to him just as Wilson makes much more sense now that we've established who he is and his rank, right? Wilson is no expert on these creatures, but he knows they don't use electricity to hunt or defend themselves. An entirely new species of skits Sky, Sky Foza. I was going to say schizophrenic, but that doesn't make any sense. In a different context, this would be a great biological discovery, but right now it's only putting him more on edge. Yeah. Clues. Unlock various upgrades on the Enigma board. So that'll be back in the Salem, in our, in our I was going to say spaceship, but you know, our submarine. All right, so we found this Chad over here. Let's have a chat with him. Oh, no, no, no. Put that away. Here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Wilson comes to an abrupt stop. Motionless figure lays hunched on the rock wall. He's uh, he's not alone. It should be a PO if I re remember. Oh, he's a chief. He got a promotion. <laughs> Unless, oh no, maybe that's random. I don't remember if it was um, Park. Dear developers, it, not a lot of answers as of yet, Chief Petty Officer. Uh, that's not, I'm telling you, I'm ex-Navy. <laughs> that's not how you would speak to him. Not a lot of answers as of yet, Chief. That's what you just call him. Um, anyway, uh, I mean, it's uh, it's Chief Petty Officer Park, groggy and confused himself as upon coming to. What's going on? Where am I? Um, Wilson replies, forcing calmness and confidence into his voice. Get up. Yeah, I know I'm skimming this a little bit because, again, we covered this in the previous uh, look at the demo. So we've got him. But he was a PO last time, but now he's a chief. So that's good for him. He got an upgrade. Um, and what's he got in his inventory? An oxygen tank. Spotter. Oh, exposed weak spots. I feel like he's a random character. Like, the dude, I think, the main dude is fixed. Yeah. Defensive posture, brace for impact. That's cool. Anyway, I'm not trying to be that, uh, you know, that guy. It's like, well, it's actually correctly spoken like this. It's like, you know, these guys are doing their best with what they can find out and learn themselves, you know? But, uh, I don't know, maybe there's some people watching the channel that are curious about all that sort of stuff anyway. Like, um, I guess the best example would be like, as an officer, if you walked up to a chief and you were like, Chief Petty Officer so-and-so, could you rah, 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 he's going to scrunch his face up and look at you funny and think there's something wrong with you, <laughs> basically. I'll get zapped. I'm out of ammo now. I can reload. Okay. All right. So what if I do spotter on that thing? Expose weakness. How good's that? Um, you know what? Can I just wait? Yeah, I can wait. Yeah, 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 wait for the jellyfish to get moving. We'll give it another. Give it another. How you going? Oh, didn't I reload you? There we go. <gasps> Missed. Uh oh. All right, send in the chief. Get stabbing. Kia. Nice. Uh, oh, plus one clues. Oh, so I can sort of search their body. Give me another clue. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Oh. All right, so you can interact diagonally, which is good.
That's what I hear. Right? So they're doing a bit of uh, bloody baritrauma banter. Like, it's there, but I don't notice it. That's one of the things about baritrauma was always interesting. And like, as a viewer watching it on YouTube, you're probably like, oh, look, they're having banter. But when you're playing it, you just, you cannot see it or hear it. You, you don't notice it. Um, all right, so up. Oh, look, there's the uh, Salem's anchor. Carefully ascending the sturdy anchor chain, Park reaches the airlock contraption at the con. Um, the mechanism opens up with ease, just like in training. He can't wait to be on inside and shed this damned suit. I'm curious what sort of chief he is, because usually, like, if you are a chief on a ship, well, I mean, it depends. Here's a, here's a little bit of a dis sort of a, a difference between Australian and US navies, without going into too much of the details. But, like, our navy is infinitesimally smaller than the US and they have all these ranks like Master Chief and that which we don't have they they, they actually have like a, a higher ranks because they generally have huger ships and huger populations and crew on their ships um, but generally speaking on most of our warships if you're a chief on the ship you know you're probably like the buffer or something like that you're probably running a sort of sailor department um, but uh but i'd be curious if like depending on even like an american submarine if a chief almost is almost has less responsibility just because there's so many departments and so many people it's i'm not 100 percent sure but um you know you gotta admit when you don't really know i only know my my part on in the australian sense not in the uh the u.s sense because those guys are on crack <laughs> they have so many people on their ships it's insane um the heavy steered do still dog his way to a tortured creek uh, revealing an almost still surface of dark water the ship is flooded yeah right panic rears its head within park <gasps> the uss salem is their only way home his only hope of seeing his family again if it is too badly damaged to move uh, or sorry, if if it is too ba badly damaged to move or even surface. <gasps> Focus. The sub is floating, which means there's plenty of air inside somewhere. Correct. As we said before, probably in the ballast. All they need to do is pump out the water uh, of the flooded sections and get the equipment of the control room operational. He's not going down without a fight. I would have mentioned this previously. People who follow the channel like, I don't really dwell on the Navy aspect of my background. But like, you know, when it comes up, it comes up. But I was surface fleet. I know nothing about submarines, like next to nothing. I, everything I know about submarines, I learned from fucking Baratrauma. <laughs> There's not a lot of overlap, you know? Um, if you go submarines, you generally, you specialize in that. That's that's where your career is. I don't I don't think you get submariners ever really doing surface fleet work. Like that, that would be strange. I guess it's possible. Yeah, I guess. All right. Uh, Salem is your base that you start with, uh, in Stirring Abyss. As you progress through the game, you can power use power and other resources to restore functionality, which is essentially like an unlock mechanism. Um, you'll need to pump the flooded control room to access other rooms. Click the drop symbol on the room to pump it. Pumping costs power, which replenishes during missions. Uh, you will also need some scrap and copper to repair the control room, all right? The Salem also has an inventory that contains crucial supplies. Drag items out of the inventory and into the diver's inventories uh, to take them with you. Diver inventories, let's keep saying that. I th I'm pretty sure I exactly commented, stop making me say inventory <laughs> uh, on the previous video beneath their portraits at the top of the screen. Okay, so we can pump that. Nice. Confirm. We got plus one sunshine. Flares. We got a flare. Oh, very good. Repairing. It's no longer flooded. However, it needs uh, its critical systems in the room have been damaged and they need repair before it can be used. Mouse over the repair icon for its repair cost to restore functionality. Five scrap metal, three copper. I think we've got that, haven't we? The great machine comes alive slowly, machinery still locked behind flooded sections responding to the call of the control room. The hum and vibration of the engine brings hope, uh, but not as much as blinking light on the radio panel, the emergency beacon locator. T 
tens tens of diving suits, each fitted with a transmitter, are missing from their storage. Only one signal is active right now, but perhaps the others are out of range or temporarily disabled. After the difficult repairs and the haunting emptiness they found, it feels good to have a clear way forward. Much remains to be done aboard the ship. Most functions are completely offline and the rest is held together by the power of duct tape and positive thinking, of course. To make things more difficult, the wiring manual in the control room maintenance cabinet has escaped its waterproof casing. The old girl is going to need some serious dry dock time if, when they get home. Yeah, that's the way to think of it. Okay, so just one more wire and there we go. We've got a signal. We'll have to move the ship, which is not far. The old girl can limp that distance even in this shape. So we've got power seven, and it's going to cost power eight to pump any of these. So um, so we're sort of bottlenecked at the moment, but that's all right. That's what, what you would kind of expect. And we can do this. Nautical charts, an enigma board. I'm not allowed to use that yet. That's okay. Let's do the nautical charts. Here we go. So we'll go to the next mission, travel. Oh, this is so cool. I wasn't expecting this to go full release so quickly after the the uh, this festival demo went up. Like literally a week or two, right? Um, crew classes. Officers, crewmen, and scientists. That's right, I remember this. They all have different skills and different weaknesses and strengths. Crewmen are like the melee, you know, punching bag blokes. And officers and scientists are more range support. Okay, that's fine. We've got a little radar. And we've got a little arrow telling us to go that bloody way. So we're going to send the chief in first. If he's supposed to be the front man that takes the biffs, we'll, uh, we'll send him in first. Can we fight this fish? Sadly, no. All right. And then we've got a spear gun. Nice. We'll just go like this. How do we... Uh, space bar. Very good. Huh. Oh, there's copper down there. Oh, I think it's telling us to actually go this way. Oh, air vent. Oh, that's what it is. It's blipping up on my radar. Okay. Look at that. All right. Now what else is blipping? Got an X up there, right? So. Oh, a question mark, investigate object. Submarine skills. Oh, I remember this. Yes, so we've got a couple of skills that the submarine has, like a searchlight, amplifier signal, and evacuate, you can run back to it. I don't know if we necessarily need to use them. Use the sonar to find missing divers. I'll tell you what, let's uh, click me. Friendly, hostile, salvage. All right. The ghastly bones have been picked clean. Some previously unknown species of archaic human or another type of mutant. Upon closer inspection, the misshapen, misshapen skull has a distinctly unnatural look to it, as if it had bulged and deformed suddenly and traumatically, rather than having grown that way. That's upsetting. That's incredibly upsetting. All right, I want my scrap metal. There's a jellyfish. I see you hiding there, jellyfish man. And stay down, you freak of evolution. Okay. There's another jellyfish there. Um, wait. Oh, I zapped him. Oh no. Oh no. He'll be right. He can take a few zaps, I think. Mate, can you stab that one as well? What an absolute champ. Oh, what's this glowing? Vital essence. Health already full? 
Oh, it's like a healing. Alright. We get bloody Sailor Jerry on the Vital Essence. There we go, look at that. Oh, get zapped. Oh, oh, there's walking dudes. What is this? He's shooting me with neurotoxin. Oh, no. Hang on, this is a turn. <laughs> okay. Scanning head. Repair the control room has unlocked two submarine skills. The sonar direction and current objective signals as well as new AI events. Excuse me, had a quick sneeze. To amplify the sonar skill will cause the sonar to also highlight potential threats. You can convert a pattern sequencer on the sail and also see nearby salvage. Oh, that sounds good. The searchlight can be used to temporarily reveal an area. If your sonar detects enemies nearby, it can be a good idea to use a searchlight. All right, okay, well, um, let's do that. So let's go sonar, amplify signal. There you go, and we can see that there's dudes out here in the unknown and then we're gonna put the bloody oh look at him little gooby monsters have a shot yeah he uh, he was absolutely unimpressed with that all right get in there get in there sailor sam Oh, he's shooting bloody goobers at me. Vicious Ink. Attack of Opportunity. Yeah, good. He got stabbed good and proper. Nice, 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 nice. Boys, teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, you missed. You missed. What are you doing, son? Disoriented. Enemies cannot attack or use their abilities the next turn. They wander around aimlessly and suffer a penalty as a defense. Has a chance to break the effect early. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, you can use flares as well? Ah. Oh. Neurotoxin. Damage each turn, six. Three stacks as well. Holy dooly. They weren't messing around. All right, you inspect this corpse. Splayed open, all that remains of the once bulging pod are the shreds of a thin but tough shell strung between supporting spines. The pressure inside the bizarre cor coral-like husk must have been immense, a quirk of evolution previously unknown to science or the consequence of some unnatural force. Who can say? Who can say? Oh, I should search that body. Um, that's okay. The gaunt corpse is unlike anything Wilson has seen before. Features common to the deep sea animals, or two deep sea animals, mixed with a frame that is far closer to human than he would care to admit. The size of its eyes explain why the strange beast was so averse to the light of their suit lamps. Compared to the near-perfect darkness of its home, their fluorescent bulbs must have seemed like staring into the sun. Yeah, right, poor buggers. The arms, weak and decrepit as they are, don't appear to see much use. The simple conclusion is that the spines the creature propelled must be its primary defense, as well as a hunting strategy. The simple clothing also implies the use of advanced tools. Wilson can't help but feel that there's more to these spine skulkers than meets the eye. Oh, Wilson, look at you, pawning all the different names. Um, can you inspect this body as well or negative? Nope. Okay. Oh, you know what? I might actually wait. 
Oh oh. Take protective stance of shielding vital organs and vulnerable parts. Grants the diver a temporary damage shield. Duration one, cooldown four. Are they going to be able to get close enough to zap him? All of them, maybe. Big maybes. Big maybes going out. All right, hang on. Man, this game's banger. All right. He'll get, they'll get one hit in. I can handle one hit. Nice. Oh, that's right. I think they use their remaining action points to make it easier. Open a personnel sheet. Oh, press C. How cool is that? Robust. That one friend everyone asks for help when moving house. Able to carry an extra item. Oh, wonderful. And he's got that spotter bonus as well, which hasn't really been a big thing with these dudes because they're, they're pretty much one hit wonders. He says as he misses. Ah, uh, glancing hit, so that's okay. All right, time to catch up. How's our air supply going? Oh, we're all right. We're we're just over half. So he's got a consumable oxygen tank to fill their reserve. So, yeah. If it comes to it, we've got that. Or oh, what is this? My, my, my. Barely audible whispers surround Chief Park as he approaches the primitive shrine. In this moment, he might have had a chance to turn away, but reason and bravado override the instinctive response to flee. As a set of red eyes flare open between the horns, the moment has passed. He is trapped. Do not fear, the voice whispers. I offer much and ask for so little. Park struggles but it is as if his suit is lined with lead. There's no escape from the red eyes that seem to burrow into his skull. What is going on here? Advantages, disadvantages. Failure, medium, meet the stare head on. I don't think I have many choices. What is all this? Dice rolls perhaps? <gasps> what is this? This is cool. Rolled two, target four. In some situations, success or failure is decided by a game of dice with fate. The difficulty of the task ahead can vary, and different divers may be more suited to different challenges. Okay, this is sick. This is a cool look, like survival horror, you know, the thing, which crew member is going to confront which problem. I like this, this, uh, this sort of twist. Uh, click on each die you wish to select, then click re-roll. However, the cursed negative side of a die prevents re-rolling. Oh, okay. Well, hang on. So we're going to keep them. You can further improve your chances by upgrading your dice through the Enigma board. Wait, wait, hang on. I thought it said select the ones that you... It's re-roll selected. Okay, well, let's re-roll selected. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's worth five! Yes! Look at that. I'm amazing. What's this? Invocations. You've gained access to invocations. Abilities and blessings granted by the mysterious patron of the shrine. Invocations use points shared by all divers, as well as action points. Uh, are fully regenerated for each mission. Invocation points. Okay, cool. So we've got spells. Oh, and this is very much like, because I used to play the, like, I never really played D&D, &D, but I played the Call of Cthulhu sort of D&D &D game. 
And you have stuff like this. You could do spells and they'd be very powerful, but they'd generally be like at an extreme cost, you know? Like blood ritual sort of shit. Um, the horns of the shrine and the crimson disembodied eyes are joined by bright blue lines that form the shape of a bull's head. The voice returns, but no longer as a whisper. It roils around the chief's... Uh, around the chief. It roils around, maybe in his head? Deep as the ocean and inexorable as the tides. You have come to a dangerous place. Already you have faced my wayward children, and worse awaits you should you continue. Vestiges of my power still remain. Call to me if you require aid, and I will attempt to twist the fates in your favour. Who are you? Park demands. What do you want from us? There is no response. The silence of eons returns, leaving only a tingling at the back of his neck. Someone or something is watching. Gained access to invocations. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Providence. It's not your time yet. Absorb the next damage instance from an external source. Okay. Oh, and these are the invocation points which are shared across my account, basically. Unnatural focus. Obsessed with the perfect strike and the thrill of the hunt. Plus aim. Okay. A detour through a space without time. Step through a tear in time and space to appear in another nearby tile. So that's like a teleporter. The gift of forgetfulness for a mind that has seen truth unmasked. Will not attack friendly targets. Ah, if overtaken by insanity. Uh, oh, okay. So you guys can go insane. I see. Very, very eldritch. Very Cthulhu. Okay. Nice. We'll keep playing for a little bit more because, uh, like I said, the, we don't want this just to be a carbon copy of the previous demo episode, so we'll get some more in. This could only be a fishing net, the two and a half Wilson shrugs. Everything's got to eat, even antediluvian monsters. Jolly. What do you mean jolly? What is this? They like fishing? Maybe we can go off on the wrong foot. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Now, where can I find some cold beer? Oh, okay. He's in a jolly mood? Perhaps? Okay. Oh, shit! What the fuck is that? We got a new crew member. Hang on, can we get this bloke up? Get him in the fight? Enemies near. No. 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 Oh, there's another little Chad dude there as well. Expose weakness. Uh. Well, hang on. We've got, like, full health, pretty much. Pretty close to full health. I think he'll be all right. We'll send this dude in. What is this? Look at the size of those things and those teeth. It's like a shark man. Oh, good, 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 good misses, good misses. Oh no, Sharkman's coming. Holy shit, Sharkman hits hard. All right, hang on, hang on. Air supply, one of your divers is running low on air. Oh, the captain, right? That's right, we can, we'll work it out. We gotta fight, we need to fight. Nice. Oh my goodness, what does is, what is the explosive thing do? Hang on. And all targets adjacent to it. Oh, we can't have that. Oh no. There's, there'll be attack of opportunity as well. Hang on, defensive stance. <gasps> He's getting neurotoxined! Uh oh. Staggering roar. What is this? Minus one action point. Oh no. You gotta stab him. Captain! I don't think we can hit very well. At, yeah, you can't shoot at point blank, which is actually awesome. <gasps> He's missed. Oh god, oh god, oh god, we're in deep shit. Oh! <gasps> Oh, 
Get zapped. All right, now we need to zap this bloke. Get zapped. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. He's got neurotoxin on him still. Now, duration four, consumable charges one. <gasps> Uh-oh. Hang on, maybe I can, like, finish the mission by, uh, by talking to this bloke or something. Chief Park reaches the unmoving form, lying prone on the thin layer of sand covering the bottom of this eerie cavern. He rushes in to check the suit. Thankfully, it appears undamaged and sealed. The facial port is fogged over, concealing the crew member within. An auspicious sign for the helmet of a deceased diver would carry no pale covering of mist. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Park is anxious to find out who he has found, but that will have to wait until he can rouse them. He peers into the tent... Ten tenebrous dark beyond. There's a word I don't get to use very often. Uh, chill runs down his spine. Chief Park hopes that some of the questions that have plagued the survivors will finally be answered. Of course, even just recovering another one of the far too many presumed dead in the incident would be more than he could have dared to hope for, right? Snapping out of it, Park realizes there is no time to waste. Breathing or not, the incapacitated figure may need medical attention, and his own tank is running lower with every breath. He holds his breath as he shakes the suit gently. Seconds feel like hours until the other diver responds. The chief backs off, allowing them to come to terms with their surroundings and situation without risking a potentially dangerous collision. Soon, a crackle on the comms channel announces that the unknown crew member has activated their radio. Where am I? Can anyone hear me? Anthony chokes back tears of relief and activates his comms. Long story, but I'll say this. It's good to hear your voice, Norman. Oh, okay, who's Anthony? Okay. Might be one of my blokes. Let's just stick to, stick to surnames or first names. All ranks. Jesus. Uh, a glimmer of hope lifts his spirits. Maybe there's hope for them yet. What happened, Norman? Do you have any idea of where you are or how you got here? Uh, Park, is that you? The voice of the science officer is weak, though he is trying to mask his fear and confusion. Chief Park can tell this ordeal has taken its toll. Norman continues. I don't know if I've got the answers that you want. It's all jumbled up. The dreams. Park the dreams. I feel like I dreamt a thousand lives, interconnected yet unique, with purpose beyond any I've known in this dreary existence, and now it's all slipping away. This is very uh, cosmic horror. I like it. Park gives him a moment. While the science officer was speaking, he checked the meter on their oxygen tank. Inexplicably, the tank is completely full. I don't even remember how I got in the suit. The captain was there, walking in front of me, guiding me through the weeds and ruins. We were not alone in that oppressive gloom. Shadows lurked at the edge of the lamplight. Park shapes not of this world. Dear God, what must? why must the splendor and grace of my dreams fade and this horrid memory remain? He's visibly agitated now, the shaking of his arms clearly noticeable even with the bulk of the suit. Park reaches out to grab the shoulder of the science officer, and the contact, remote as it is, appears to bring some relief to his bewildered companion. They let us pass. Onwards we continued, our destination apparently clear to Captain Ashworth. For, oh right, of course, we don't have a captain, we've got a two and a half, right. For he strode on with the determination and purpose of a man who knows his path. Without warning, the captain stopped. There were large rocks around us and a dark yawning chasm in the silt. He turned around then. It was him, but it also wasn't. The loathsome face I saw haunts me still, staring at me with cruel and gleaming eyes. This writing's fucking rad. Something moved behind me. The captain must have seen, but did nothing to stop it or to warn me. I tried to pull my knife, but an impossibly strong grip pinned my arms. And he just stood there. How could he just stand there? Chief Park sits in stunned silence for a moment. Somehow, despite all the unimaginable horrors he has witnessed in these accursed depths, the thought of brave Captain Ashworth abandoning his crew is... It's, it's too much. His deliberation complete... Park speaks with calm conviction. We have to find him. We have to find the truth. 
Nice. Mission success. Evacuate. You found and rescued another diver and completed the mission. Now it's time to evacuate. The Salem can't get to you while inside the cave, but once you're back outside, you can set up an evac zone from the sub skill section. Ah. Oh. Wait, so we've got to get out of this cave? Oh no. So there's, there's vital, vital essence, so let's get... Can you, um, search that, sir? At first glance, the anatomy of the fallen brute defies all reason. The head is similar to that of an orca, with a maw of razor-sharp teeth. Smooth and rubbery skin also point towards a mam mammalian nature. What cruel trick of Darwinian chance resulted in an ambulatory deep sea creature is beyond his comprehension, but Norman cannot deny that the fiend did indeed walk these desolate depths. The large bony hooks on the end of each arm look dangerous, but unwieldy. How this beast has managed to dress itself in the sparse loincloth is a mystery, as are the logistics of spinning linen underwater. Perhaps this murk fiend, oh it's a good name, as he resolves to name the creature, is not a product of natural selection at all, but the loathsome result of a more pernicious process of mutation. Mm. Interesting F trope. Now, where do we bloody go? I think there's an oxygen vent down here. I've got a little marker there. So we're going to scout ahead with this dude. With the new bloke. There we go. We're going to need that. We're going to need that oxygen. Um... No action points, okay. <gasps> Wait, how bad's the neurotoxin? Duration one. Okay, that's not so bad. The captain, you need to eat this essence. Eat it. Um, bulging pod. And meanwhile, his ear's going poorly. All right, can you use... Oh, he can use it on the captain. You know what? Actually, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use the air on the captain. Wait, what? Oh, does the air just sort of like... Oh, how cool is that? Um. Right, and the exit is a... Oh, we have to backtrack to the exit. Is that what's going on? Okay. Shit. The range on that explosion's gross. I don't think you can pick the air tank back up. Oh no. Kenny. Activate evacuation zone. Characters cannot evacuate if aggressive enemies are nearby. No action points. All right. We're getting the hang of this.
How gloomy in that is when you've only got one dude left. That's a bit scary. Oh, we're out. Okay, cool. This game is ticking all the boxes, man. This is so much fun. All right, there we go. Top secret. We're still doing reports. Severely wounded in action. Combat commendation. Randy Norman. Anthony Park. Look at that stash. Jeez, even the two and a half. They all look chad as anything. This is so good. All right. Yeah, threats neutralized. Nice. Good, 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 good. Nice. Clues. You've got enough clues to start unlocking upgrades on the Enigma board. Repair the officer's quarters next to the control room to get started on improving your crew and equipment. One or more of your crew have earned a level up, increasing their stats and unlocking new abilities. Levels are awarded after missions, and you can see which divers have leveled up by flashing an icon. Okay, you're very good. The tired crew return to the control room of the USS Salem, having shed their diving suits. As they descend the ladder, a meek voice calls out from beneath. Uh, welcome back, guys. Standing near the controls is John Ackers, one of the ship's cooks. He looks haggard but alive. And he continues, sorry I didn't speak up sooner. I came to inside one of the damn storage lockers just as you were heading out and I wasn't myself for a bit there. Oh boy, I had some strange dreams, I tell ya. Akers is clearly a still a bit out of it, but it's good to have another member of the expedition back. It is. This is wonderful news. There we go. So he's a uh, cook. Just tell me what you need done, sir. Very cool. And we got some power back as well. And we're going to drain some stuff out. But we'll leave that for the next one. Because this has been uh, quite a long episode. But, you know, a bit of a special. Um, I really, really dig this. Let me know what you guys reckon. If you want to see more. It should probably already be on your radar. Because I already looked at it on the channel. Um, with the with the sort of previous demo peak. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this. Hopefully you guys are interested in seeing more as well. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.